back to the channel, yo. In this video, we're going to combination combo these two right here together. So you guys get them hair light winter protection here. This is the Meguiar Scratch X 2.0. Combo with the Meguiar's cleaner wax here, paste wax. All right, guys, now here it says fine scratches and blemishes. This is for paint. You also can use this for your hair lights, both of these products. All right, so let's get started. The first one we're going to work is going to be the Meguiar Scratch X 2.0. Well, simply, I got a piece of paper towel here. I put it up here. The reason why, so I can actually see the crap that's coming off this hair light onto this piece of paper towel. Now, if I use the applicator, you really couldn't see it that well. And plus, the paper towel is throwaway. All right, so let's get it. This is throwaway, you know, so whatever come off this light from this stuff, it's pretty abrasive. So we just kind of end things up with that cleaner wax there. But this will kind of let you know what's coming out that headlight. Now you see you pulling some crap. See it's yellowing? See all that yellowish stuff that's coming out that headlight? That's letting you know that you're pulling crap off still. So y'all see the junk be on these headlights, even if you don't even see it. They have junk up here. Y'all see it. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. All right, see that junk coming out this headlight? Now, you see, this stuff is very abrasive. This McGuire Scratch X. All right, so I was taking that junk, man. It's pulling that junk right off. Here, very abrasive, man. Look all that junk coming off. Y'all see it? Stop playing with him, man. That's a lot of junk. Now, you wouldn't believe that much junk was up there. Okay, that's the first piece. All right, so we're gonna take clean microfiber here. I'm gonna fill it to the yellow side here. I'm gonna buff this stuff off. And I'm gonna apply some more scratch X. All right, we'll see the scratch X down here. Okay, so let's buff this off. I'm kind of amazed. I didn't think that much junk will come off this light because this this light has conversation on the inside as well. But therefore, you got to get the outside as clean as possible so you can make you know sure that the outside of it's real, the inside will be clear enough where you can see through it. You can see some of the junk coming off. See there? So, we getting junk off. Even though, like I said, some of the conversation is on the inside of this headlight. So, you want to make sure you get the outside as clean as possible. Because you can't really open the inside. It's a lot of trouble. You know, like I told you guys before, if, you, if you're going to take the light out, open it up and do all that you might as well buy some new lights to put back in here i wouldn't go through that much trouble trying to take apart no light now you can get a set of lights for probably under 100 bucks you know so if you're gonna take them out you just better off put some new ones back in here i'm just keeping it real i seen people somebody put them all in the oven and all that mess you know <laughs> I ain't got time to be putting no light in no oven, man. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. If I take these lights out, I'm going to replace them with some new ones. I'm not putting them old lights back in my car. I'm just not going to do it, you know. I ain't going through the house. I mean, if I got to take them out, put them in the oven and all that kind of stuff, man, forget it. I just order me some new lights and be done with it. Because I definitely ain't putting them in no oven. All right, so we're going to apply... We're going to do another coat. Let's see how much junk we pull. Now, this is very aggressive on these lights, the Meguiar Scratch X 2.0. Very aggressive. Yeah, man, I know y'all seen it. What people saying, they want to see how much junk we pull off with a new piece of paper towel. What people saying, they put the lights all in the oven and all that kind of stuff. Man, I ain't got time for that. 
Might well jump on eBay or Amazon, man, and order you some brand new lights. Because it's going to be a little trouble taking them out. You know, I think you got to remove this whole bumper piece right here. All this got to come off. You got to take the whole bumper and all that stuff off just to get the lights out. So, man, I got to do all that. I might well put some new lights back in here. You know, I ain't doing, going through all that trouble to put these old lights back in here. Wouldn't make no sense, would it? No, stop playing with it. All right, so you see, it's still pulling junk. Look at there. This is second go. And the Meguiar's are still pulling junk. So I'm going to buff that all right quick. Here's the first paper tile right here. We're pulling just as much junk the second go round. So let's hit this again. Buff it back off. That goes to show. We had some conversation still. On the outside of the light. Wasn't clear it could be. See. All right. So hang tight. We're going to work this one more time. Hang tight. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and work it. This is a clean side of paper towel. Let's hit it again. I needed both of my hands to do this. So let's get him. Let's see how much more junk can we get off this light. Yeah. I'm surprised it's pulling this much junk off. I didn't think my lights were this dang on dirty or yelling it. I mean, I know it's conversation on the inside of these lights. You know, I told you guys that in previous videos. But it's a lot of us still on the outside of these lights. Be surprised, man. Okay, so we'll pull. Oh man, we're still picking out junk. Look at that yellowing. It's still picking out yellowing. Look at her. That yellow stuff is what's turning your lights yellow looking. See there? That's tree sap. Environmental fallouts, traffic film, bug guts, humidity, chemicals in the air settling. I mean, it's, that's what it is. It all get cooked on and turn yellow. That's what that's what making them look like. There. Everything, environmental, <laughs> old period of time, dew, chemicals in the dew, settle down. You know, acid rain, sticky stuff coming out in this air, sky, chemical spills and waste in the air, pine tree, pine sap, and all that stuff. It settles on your lights. Same thing settles on your paint. That's why you got to polish and clay your paint and stuff. Okay, y'all see how good that look? That's not a bad looking light now. So basically now, I use this for the protection and it adds just a little bit more cleaning abilities to it. Alright, that's why I said combo these two together. Okay, watch this. Alright y'all, so I put this up there, let it haze. As you can see, let it haze one to two minutes. Then you take this and buff it back off. That's all you got to do. This here adds some more cleaning to the light as well as it'll give you some protection. So that's why I combo these two together. The Meguiar Scratch X is a, a very abrasive cut on the headlights. So this here is going to remove any fine scratches, any blemishes, environmental fallouts, tree sap, overspray, chemicals in the air, bug guts, or anything all in a bug. That fell on your headlights. <laughs> Alright. So that's 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 what it is, man. That's what it is. Alright, so um now after this then cure it up there for a few minutes. I said about a minute or two. You can get this Maguire's cleaner wax off the lights. And you pretty much you protect. And then you can come behind and hit it with some ceramic code or whatever you want to do. But you want to make sure you get them lights as clean as possible. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bump this off. Keep the videos from getting the screen that screen that too long. I don't like no videos too long. Y'all get bored out with them. But uh, there you go. So now I'm protected 
with the Maguire's cleanup wax. So the water gonna just be right off the lights. And you know, you gotta worry about them getting up there turning yellow and all this stuff. So there you have it, man. And it's clear. That light looks good enough. Look at there. You can see the bulb back there. That's clear. That's good enough. You're definitely better to see out in there at night. See that? Anytime you can see the bulb from that outside of the, the light, you definitely can shine through it. See there? That's how you can test it. If that bulb that clear, visibly clear, it's clear at night. Clear enough anyway. All right, y'all hit that subscribe, man. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.